Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is my granddaughter Camila. So I actually got to make a run to Harbor Freight today. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go make a run to Harbor Freight. Let's see if they'll let me film in the store and uh, let's buy some tools. All right, let's go. Say hi Camila. She's shy. Love you. Okay, so I just got to my local Harbor Freight, which is about 12 miles away from my house. And um, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to see if I can find a store manager and see if they're okay with me filming inside. If they're not okay, then so be it. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and argue with them that their website shows something different, but we shall see. So here we are. All right, let's go inside and let's pick out some tools. Okay, so I got the okay. They can't tell me no, but they can't tell me yes. Okay, so every basic set should have some good wrenches. Their Icon wrenches are phenomenal, I will give them that, especially for the price. And their gear wrenches are, or their, their style ratcheting wrench set, these things are really good. Um, nice quality here. If you're just a home guy, I would say the standard Pittsburgh stuff is fine. However, you want a better quality, the Icon is definitely the way to go. What I am gonna do, I can't pass this up. 199. And this is a heck of a quality toolbox right here. Good metal, stuff like that. I need a roll cart. So I'm gonna be getting myself one of these and I gotta get some wrenches too. Um, although I have a tool kit, uh, a Pittsburgh tool kit, I don't know what's in it. Let me look here to see what the kit actually contains because I don't remember off the top of my head. And I'm gonna have to pick something here. Okay, so this is the set that I have at home and it's actually a very good set and it's very basic, but it has a lot of good tools that you need. As you see, it's got quarter, three-eighths, and half, a uh, whole bunch of selections of sockets, a few basic wrenches and stuff like that. This is a very good basic kit for home. Um, but yeah, if you want to get something a little more extravagant, they do have the bigger ones. I prefer a smaller kit and an add-on, although you're going to be spending more money and kind of select what you need. Now, I like flex head ratchets, so I'm buying their Pittsburgh version for flex head ratchets. These are for home. I don't like these extendable ones. I find these break relatively easy. Um, it's not through Pittsburgh, but it's any of them that I've ever seen that they relatively, they, they're relatively fragile. Uh, let's see. I don't want the super long one. I got the, what size is it? It's the Pro. Does it even tell me how long this thing is? Oh, it's a 14 inch because they also have an 18 inch. I usually don't like to get them that long because I wind up breaking sockets otherwise. What I also did was I picked up a set of quarter inch and three eighths drive extensions. These kits, they're here, they're uh, 39 and 34, or 30, 40 and 35 basically. So that should work out for what I need because I need some decent extensions. I'm going to need a torque wrench eventually for home, and I have one of these, a snap-on version, when it first came out. 179 That's actually not a bad price. Shoot, I think when I bought mine, when when they first came out, I think the thing was 600 bucks. <laughs> All right, let me uh, look where else, what else I got to get. Okay, so for wrench sets, this set is a little bit longer than this set, than the combination wrench set. These usually work out pretty darn good. I like the ones that are a little bit longer, but I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get the ones that are a bit longer. So, I like the ones that are longer. They're just obviously more leverage. And then I'm actually going to get the Icon ones, the ratcheting wrench set. Reason being is because it's got a slight angle to the base there. You see it? Whereas the other ones are just straight up, you know, this style. So let me get these also. So here we are at the floor jacks, and they got a deal on this one. And I like this because it's a low profile in the front here. It's got a dual piston to lift up with, and it's a longer version than this. So I need a jack. That's what I'm getting. I already took one. I mean, these are great jacks too, and uh, I just don't want to spend that kind of money right now. Well, that's a three ton. Hmm, I wonder if I'm, yeah. Best. Let me see what the difference is between these two. Hold on. Nah, I think I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh over the Daytona. 
I've had good luck with Pittsburgh product, so that's so definitely what I'm going to go with. Although Daytona seems a little more heavy duty if you look at the mounts for the rear casters. But I'm not going to be doing anything absolutely crazy. If you are going to be lifting trucks and stuff, maybe you do want to go with something like that. But I think for what I'm going to need, this is going to be fine. Plus this one comes in gray. I love the gray color. So that's what I'm going to go with. And every once in a while you need hole saws. So I'm going to pick this up. I've never tried them and never heard of them. So we're going to find out. But I could always use a set of these. So no harm in getting them. There's a couple of different ones. The Hercules is probably the better of them. Although Warrior has a carbide grit hole saw kit, but I don't need anything like that for right now. I do have one plan of something I want to try doing, and uh, this should work out just fine because i got to go through plastic. So let's get this and let's see what happens. As far as screwdrivers go, I tend to be a little bit of a snob when it comes to screwdrivers. I prefer a really good screwdriver because having a cruddy screwdriver can really mess up your day. Um, but yeah, let's see what they got here. They have a pretty good selection here, in all honesty. Me personally, these are probably good, but I would not choose them for myself. Honestly, I would go here. And I would spend the extra money on a decent set of screwdrivers. I don't need a set right now, but if I do, this is what I'm going to get. Probably okay with Quinn too, but I would prefer these. They also have a great selection of work gloves and disposable gloves. Um, obviously, that's your choice, whatever you decide you want to do. I am very specific with my... With my gloves, when I do use them, uh, I get Microflex, but that's just me personally. You know, a good set of these type of work gloves, too, definitely come in handy. Um, but I do have an issue wearing gloves when I work. It just it bothers the heck out of me. But a lot of times if I'm doing something very greasy, you know, I'll get a set of gloves like that. Here they have a pretty darn good selection of sockets. And there it is. A lot of this is your choice, too. I have the regular Pittsburgh sockets, and they work great. I'm sure the Icon are quite a bit better, but their impact sockets are quite good. I do have tools in my storage unit that i got to dig out, so I don't want to go absolutely crazy buying things right now. So, let's see, but they do have a good selection, I will say that. And here we have their selection of gripping pliers, you know, vice grip design. To be honest with you, I prefer vice grip. Um, they're again, Irwin uh, tools for vice grip. However, if you need something like for welding like this style, these things work pretty darn good, and I would put buy them here. I wouldn't have a problem with that. The other ones, the Pittsburgh, I would stay away from. Their mm, quality to me is not that great. Uh, when you get to the Icon stuff, there you have some good Icon stuff, but they don't have Icon vice grip style. They also have a good selection of woodworking stuff, C-clamps, whatnot that you could use. Safety glasses, mats. I bought a set of those mats just now. Face masks when you're working with uh, different stuff, shields, booties for your feet, ear protection. Ear protection is vitally important, trust me. Those of you younger guys out there, when you start to use air hammers and stuff like that, wear ear protection, because when you get to my age and you realize you lost part of your hearing, yeah, so. Also, if you're gonna get into like trying to emulate Breaking Bad, there you go, you got stuff like that, rain suits. Now here is socket and wrench organizers. If you're gonna buy socket organizers, don't buy these, no matter who makes them. Um, buy a decent set usually like this style this style uh, this style wrench set this style for sockets trust me when I tell you you won't be disappointed even the magnetic strips lots of different pry bars and hammers and stuff like that I prefer dead blows like this they don't have the 32 ounce they only have the 24 ounce and the 16 ounce. Uh, but these are excellent hammers and lifetime warranty. Some people look and say, oh my gosh, that's so much money to spend on a hammer. It really isn't. Those are excellent dead blows too for a soft face. Every good toolbox should have like a brass type hammer. So, yeah, they got a good selection of stuff here. Tape measures, measuring devices, anything else. Good set of calipers digital makes your life a lot easier if you're like me you can read that style so you can get those because those things never have a battery that goes dead now, these liquid transfer pumps actually work quite well and you can use them on gasoline we have used these on gasoline especially when I was over at Joe and Moe's and we were having a siphon fuel from 
no wrecked vehicles. These things work excellent. This is actually a very good piece right here. They also have an excellent selection of some specialty tools for air conditioning work. Those are like hose clamps, some brushes, some fuel line disconnect stuff, compression test kit. That's actually a decent price if it's a decent tool. I've never used it, so I don't know. I have had that. That's a great kit. If you buy this to do a leak down, uh, a block test, make sure you buy the fluid. The fluid's not in the kit. Uh, let's see, what else? Gear puller set. Oh, it's a bearing, like hub tamer type of kit. I've had one of those. I found it's a great kit, but I didn't use it very often. Uh, let's see, a hydraulic puller. Some like, deluxe compression tester, exhaust pipe expander. I've had this. Here's one that's really kicking me. Here you got some different pick tools, and you have a hose pick tool. This kit looks identical to my snap-on kit. I'm talking identical, including the case piece in the back, except mine says snap-on where this says icon. Hmm. So I guess it's a direct copy. Got some polar stuff, some larger like uh, wheel bearings for like the rear axles on big trucks and stuff like that. But yeah, they have quite a bit of stuff here. Wall joint service kit is probably very good for like the home type of setup. I have the snap-on one, but then again, I do quite a few ball joints. I haven't in a while, but for a, quite a long time there, I was doing a number of them. That's actually a great kit for moving inner tie rods. I broke mine, but I had mine for a number of years. There's a locking collar on here that I actually broke. So unfortunately, it didn't, wasn't covered under any kind of warranty, so I got to buy another kit. Not a big deal, uh, but it's a great kit, just so you know. Um, this is actually something good to have. If you're like me, like a master lug kit for all those weird different style uh, lug nuts. See that? I'm gonna have to buy that one day. I don't need it right now. Hey, don't buy one of these. I'll tell you that right now. I almost put one of these things through my hand. It snapped and that thing almost went through my hand. So just keep it in mind. Uh, let's see what else. Here we have roll carts. On that side we have the temperature probes, inspection cameras, booster cables, test lights, booster packs. They have quite a few things. This is actually kind of coming handy too for somebody. I have one. These, these are awesome. These come in very handy. It says Maddox, but I don't think Maddox actually makes this. I think they rebranded it. Um, I've had mine for probably 20 years now. It looks identical to this. All right, so they got a selection of peanut butter blaster and WD and stuff like that. Brake clean if you need it, hand cleaner. Brake caliper tool. You need this for when you're doing rear brakes. You have a choice here. I have a kit that's similar to that one. Brake bleeder kit. Brake tool kit itself. Double flaring kit. So, uh, coolant funnel kit. Yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. I actually have that oil drain, the larger one. It's actually an excellent drain, but obviously that's for a lift. Uh, grease guns, funnels. I actually need to grab a funnel. And I need to grab a drain pan. They have silicone and stuff like that. I've never used their silicone. I don't know the quality of it. These nylon pry bar, pry bar or installer set, whatever, these are for like door trim panels. These things work excellent. I've had two sets of those. Yeah, they do break over time, but for the price, I mean, come on, that's nothing. Um, but yeah, I've broken them, but they work excellent. They're non-marring. I have these also. Push pins, parts trays, magnetic trays. I'm actually gonna buy this one day, not right now, but I am gonna buy it. I will let you know. Hydraulic body repair kit is what they call it. It's a porta power, portable kit. Uh, let's see what else. I got a bunch of stuff here. I'll tell you, Harbor Freight's come a long way. I have this kit too. That's a pretty handy little kit. Don't use it often, but when I need it, it does come in handy. It's a small puller set. They have generators, sump pumps. You know, stuff like this, water pumps. So they have quite a bit. Tarps. If you've never been in a Harbor Freight, you should, you should take a look. They have quite a bit. 
We have a nice selection of jack stands and stuff. Now, I know there was a some talk years ago about defective jack stands that they had a recall on, and uh, for some reason, people didn't heed the warnings that came with them, and they overloaded them and stuff like that. But there were some that were made incorrectly, and they did have a recall on them, but it gave them a bad name. I tell you, I've used them. I have these at home, and they work excellent. I don't have a problem with them. I also have a set of Daytonas before they were Daytonas, before Harbor Freight took over Daytona. I have a set of those. I've had them for years. They work excellent. Uh, engine stands, engine hoist. If you're going to buy an engine hoist, buy the bigger one. Trust me, I, I have the smaller one. I got it on a trade. I'd much rather have the bigger one. It works much, much better. Got brushes and painter stuff, tarps. Vacuums, the Bauer vacuum is a very good vacuum too. Painting stuff like power sprayers and whatnot, good stuff. They have moving blankets and a kid's selection and some airbrush type stuff. Then like close out stuff or stuff that's been tampered with. The moving blankets are excellent for fender covers because they're nice and soft too. They you know keep anything, any damage from happening. Well, provided you're not an idiot and you drop like a hammer on a fender. Uh, but yeah, like I say, kid's stuff and whatnot. Got miscellaneous toe straps, stuff like that. I need one of these. Hitch pin lock, because somebody stole my, um, whatchamacallit, my hitch. Somebody stole one off my truck. Some buggers. So, I never had one of these before, now it's going to have one. Uh, you got casters, you got miscellaneous fans, you got tumblers, vibrating tumblers that sell the media. You got sandblasting cabinets, which one day I'm gonna have to buy a sandblasting cabinet. You got wheelbarrow tires, stuff like that. Small compressors, more booster boxes, inspection cameras, radiator pressure testers. Yeah, they got quite a bit, but I think now, I think I'm good with what I got. All right, let's check out, let's go home. One thing I do need for home too, something like this, so. Pick up a light, so this way I have it. And they do have a nice little selection of lights here. They also have solar stuff. All right, I think we're done for now. Let's check out. Okay, so we're all loaded up. We're heading back home. Uh, just got recognized by uh, Chris Everett. I think he said his last name was. Um, hey, Chris, thank you for watching my channel and you know recognizing me here. And uh, you know, hopefully we'll run into each other again. Uh, you kind of know where I live now, so stop by. All right, uh, let's get this stuff home, and I want to get my roll cart assembled. All right, so I'm actually home now, but I'm going to end this video there, because otherwise it's going to be way too long. Uh, I'll make a separate video on me opening up the jack and opening up the tool cart and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of it. If you're getting something out of my videos, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. And uh, if you want to hit that bell, the notification button, this way you get notified when I do post new videos. If you look down in the description, you'll see links to Amazon products that I use. Unfortunately, I can't do any kind of links to anything with um, Harbor Freight, but whatever. But with Amazon, same thing. I um, It's a lot of tools that I personally use. So just so you see, I do use Harbor Freight. I do use Amazon stuff too. So, And it's all good, reputable stuff. There are certain things that, yeah, you don't want to use, and I kind of tried to point that out. But, uh, yeah, so that's about it. All right, guys. That's it. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.